Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFL week three matchup between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. Now let's start with the Patriots offense. They've been on fire. Tom Brady has been throwing out of his mind this season. But they have to come in this week and take an ego check and play small ball. Don't try to stretch out that Bills defense vertically because the Bills have some talented secondary players that can make plays on the football. Play small ball, dictate the pace of the game, and I think they can control the tempo if they come out and play small ball instead of trying to stretch these guys out vertically. Also, you want to look at that first drive of the ball game can set the tone. It all depends on how you come out. If you come out fast paced, you, you just ignited the Bills offense. They can also match point for point because they're a fast break offense as well. Dictate the pace of the game by coming out in that first drive and setting the tone. Lull these guys to sleep and therefore the Patriots can have some success. Now you also look at defensively. I, I think the defensive uh, side of the football, they have to do a better job on third down. Let's be honest. The Patriots struggle on third down defensively. If they stay on the field long against this Buffalo Bills offense, it can be a long day because we know this team gives up a lot of yards to every quarterback that they face and Ryan Fitzpatrick is gonna come in and take advantage. So therefore, the defense has to get off the field on third down and never give up inside position to, to anyone in this offense. The Bills have some solid wide receivers that can get inside. But if they get inside position, they effectively block out the defensive back and it's just gonna be a, a, a surgery down the football field with precision passes, the quick slant will kill you. Don't allow ups inside position against these wide receivers. Now, Buffalo comes in, outstanding game offensively. Let's talk about that offense. Excellent running out of the spread. They do a great job of running the football out of spread formations. I would say carry that over. That's the two tight ends or two wide receivers, one wide, three wide receivers, a tight end. Whatever you guys spread out and continue to run out that formation, that takes an extra guy out of the box, which is why Fred Jackson is able to have some success. And I saw C.J. Spiller getting some carries and making some people miss. I like C.J. Spiller a lot. Now, also, you want to use a lot of that uh, uh, Fitzpatrick athleticism. This guy is very athletic. Keep him on the move. Don't hesitate to throw in a quarterback draw or something like that. Some boots or waggles to get him on the move. He's very athletic and that'll give the Patriots something extra to game plan for and worry about during the ball game. Defensively, better run fits against the run will help eliminate the big plays. Quiet is kept. The Bills did a great job of stopping the run against the Raiders. It was maybe one or two or three big plays on the ground that really you know skewed the numbers but great run fits will help that out if you if the bills can able to can be able to stay in those run fits longer they're going to do a great job against the run against the patriots now look at the matchup george wilson and jarius bird versus those tight ends that's the key battle they go to the tight ends a lot do the new england Patriots. the bills have to come in and take advantage of those safeties i like bird a lot I also like Wilson. That's going to be the big matchup. Can he stop Hernandez and also Gronkowski? And Merriman must live in the backfield. He must become a part of the Patriots backfield. He has to continue to harass Tom Brady. The X factor for the New England Patriots is going to be that running game. If they can control the clock with the ground game and take a little bit of an ego check and not throw for as many yards this week, this could be a, a huge victory for the Patriots. X factor for the Bills has to be Sean Mer Merriman in that pass rush. If they can cause havoc, they don't have to necessarily get sacked, but if they could just stay busy in the backfield, that's going to open up a lot for the Buffalo Bills defensively. This is a tough game to call, conference game, playing in the college type atmosphere. I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, I'm going with the Buffalo Bills. The reason being, their offense is explosive and they have the X factor and the defense can't get to the quarterback. I think Lights Out will have an outstanding ball game this week and a big coup for getting Marcel Darius. He's already proven to be a huge dividends, paying huge dividends for the Buffalo Bills. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And listen to the football game plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blocktalkradio.com slash football game plan.